<laughs> I got another story though. This okay, one, this okay, one, okay. I feel like this is the coldest move ever, dog. Uh-oh. This is some gangster shit right here. You were in Europe. You, Tyson, Bolt. Y'all just finished running a race of 200. Y'all were going to get to another race. Before you got to the second race, you got a phone call. Who'd you, ah, get, to, I don't know this who'd you get that phone call from and what they say? <laughs> Bro, relax. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna. Uh, oh, you passing on the questions? You just told us you ain't passing on nothing. You talking about the singer? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, no, okay, no. okay, okay, cool. I'm, I'm about to say, hold on, my brother. <laughs> I'm talking about I'm talking about uh Xavier. Oh, oh my God, bro. <laughs> Oh, why you gotta bring that? Up? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you didn't hit you with that. Why you always bringing up old shit? Why you always bringing up old shit? I thought you were talking about Riri. Oh, but instead, I mean, we could talk no, about Riri. You. We could talk about Riri. No, thank you. Hey, Sam, gonna send you a diss track. Yeah, no, I already know. I, I don't know, want a lot no of diss tracks out there right now, boy. <laughs> I know I look a little darker right now, but in the winter, I'm the same color as an animal cracker, so I'm not that tough. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Man, we go to Osaka. We're in Osaka. We're in Osaka. We go out there, and I'm Tyson wins. I stumble, Bo gets second. I edge Rodney Martin for third. Cool. We go run the relay, and I was like, I'm gonna get my lick back. So I gave Bolt a little bit of work on the back stretch, and then afterwards, like we're me, like Bolt and I are like cool. We cool, cool. So like we're hanging out, and my phone rings. Like who the hell is this? A random Louisiana number. I'm like what the hell? So I answered. He's like, Yo, what's up? Hello? Yo, what's poppin'? Hello? Who is this? This X, fool. <laughs> I said, what? This X. X who? X, fool. Oh, oh, that X. Xavier Carter. Sorry, how you doing, sir? What's going on? Yeah, you just had your world championship and got your medal. When you get over here at Zurich, I'm going to have my world championship. I'm going to tear your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> what? <Click. laughs> Hangs up the phone. I'm like... <laughs> And Bo was like, who is that? I was like, oh, I think it was Xavier. Like, what you be? I was like, I think he just said he's going to beat us. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I ain't worried about that. Come on, let's go to this party. I'm like, okay, cool. So we go to the party, get our plane ticket. We're going to Zurich. My agent's like, hey, so where do you want to run to Zurich? I was like, um, I think I'm tired. I think I'm just going to run the relay. <laughs> he's like, what? I said, I'm just going to run the relay. Like, I'm not fresh right now. He's like, all right. So I call Bolt, and I'm like, Bolt, I'm, I'm going to tell you this one time, and you do whatever you want to do because you grown. Xavier said, it's up the moment he sees us. Don't run unless you're ready. <laughs> He's like, nah, I ain't scared of no X. I'm going to run. I'm like, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> you're tired. You just don't know. We have four rounds of the four. Look, of the, of the 200, two rounds of the four. You're tired. He don't listen. Man, when I tell you they shot that gun, and normally Bolt could pull away from somebody on the curve. This is before Bolt went Super Saiyan, but still. Hey, man, X stayed right with them on the curve. And on the straightaway, it ran 50 meters, and X pulled away. The last 20, 30 meters, he looked over at Bolt and hit him with the X on. <laughs> and ran 19. And I was like, I'm glad I'm in the stands. It, it was not, it was 196, by the way. I'm glad I'm in the uh, stands. When I tell you, I, Bolt won't admit this. He can say, if you disagree with me, you a liar. And I say it to your face, you go. <laughs> <laughs> Bolt was mad for about, uh, until he won the Olympics, he was pissed. He was He won his get back. Pissed. You, you know what's funny about that story, right? Like, I, me and, and, and uh, Xavier's coach are cool, like real close, me and Gary. Right? You wouldn't believe when he made that call. That dude that burnt bone spurs. He was training in the pool it the whole matter time so but he was watching y'all on tv because he didn't make the team mm. upset so gary's like yeah we got we got something for him man i'm gonna fast forward though i'm gonna fast forward though <laughs> oh, here you go go ahead so, so we go to brussels that same year so x tears boat up i ain't gonna lie boats man <laughs> so we go to one other race i think i ran like the hundred of the four so i didn't race boat no none of them so we go to brussels it's the last event of the year and we walk out to the track, and as we're walking out, Walter Davis is uh, long jumping. And he looks at X, and he's like, X, what you going to do? And he's like, you know what time it is. He's like, what you going to do to them boys? He's like, I ain't got no friends out here, but get all these boys. And Bolt looks at me, he grabs me by my jersey, which is pretty tight. You know how body form, uniforms are? And he's like, if you don't beat him right now, he's like, I swear to God, we're not friends. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you in the race too? <laughs> he's like, I'm tired. <laughs> 
And I swear to you, if you go walk, go back and watch that race, I never ran a damn turn so hard in my life. I ran 1988. I beat X. Bolt got like fourth. Xavier got second. <laughs> and when I I locked up in the last 50, I don't ever lock up in races. But I ran a turn so hard, I locked up. I'm trying to do a victory lap. My butt's all tight. I'm wobbling. <laughs> I'm waving like this. I'm throwing the flowers. I didn't even make it to the damn stands. <laughs> they sit on, on the, right, right before the track. I was like, oh my God, I'm dead. Oh, <laughs> nah, man. but that man X was a bad man, bro. He was a bad man. He, he ran 10 0, 40, like 43, and 19 6 in one week and within the seven day span. Nah, he, he's still the only dude at NCAA to actually win the 100 and the 400, which is definitely a crazy pair. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Nobody, nobody has done it since him. And the person who did it before him was... Uh, Jesse Owens. It was Jesse? I, I don't believe think it so. I thought it was Jesse, Xavier, it's some, and then... It's somebody and then, else that was before and, him. And Jerry and Lawson won four. So won four events in nationals on the men's side. You, I thought it was him, Xavier, and then Jerry and Lawson. Not even the four well. events, but the yeah, You're talking about the sport four specifically. Yeah, the, 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 just, the, just the two, the one and the four. The one and the four, the that's four by crazy. one and the four by four. That they is crazy. Like, the one and the four, that's a else. crazy, crazy yeah. behind pick. Be like, yeah, I'm going to win the one. You run the two? Nah, I'm gonna run the four. Yeah. Crazy I'm gonna run the four. It's crazy because it's different <laughs> energy systems. Yeah, yeah you'd be like, bro, how, how the hell is but this? But you know what? He was he was so strong, dog. I remember when we trained with him over at Wild World of Sports, and he was my training partner, which is the, he was the craziest training partner I ever had. Dog. He always smelled like Patron. <laughs> he was always he was always ready when he needed to be ready, dog. I remember we had to do grass runs. Brooks would always put us in the grass at the beginning of the season. He would do grass runs, and when I tell you. The amount of power he was putting into the ground barefooted, it just you could hear it. I mean, when I was running next to him, we just doing runs. You know, I'm, I'm light stepping. All I hear is, I just bah, 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 bah. like I look over, damn horse hooves just hitting the ground, dog. Like it was just, I was like, this dude's a problem, dog, for exactly. real. Not, not even that. He, he was just different. He was at his time. He the only dude who I know had a Royce Royce. Mm. In the track and field world. <laughs> yeah. I say, I'll tell a story. Please don't kill me because you can. <laughs> <laughs> I worked on boxing and all kind of Krav Maga and MMA and whatnot after my whole 05 world championship hazing experience. But still, don't hurt me, bro. <laughs> don't hurt me. But, you know, so my coach decides he's going to Florida. You know, Coach Brahman decides he's like, you know, he's leaving Arkansas. He's going to Florida. I'm like, I don't want to go to Florida. That's too far away from home. I want to be next to my family. Like, it is what it is. So I remember I went to a visit LSU to see if I was going to train with Coach Shaver. And so I'm talking to him on the phone. That is the most organized man I've ever met in my <laughs> persnickety, I'm fastidious, whatever. You, that is the most organized man on earth. So he calls me. Wallace, you're going to land at this time. You're going to get picked up at this time. You're going to go to the hotel. You're going to eat. You're going to, I'm like, cool. Xavier's going to pick you up. Great. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, one thing about me, if you know me, like I do not like waiting in the airports. Yeah. So I land and I'm waiting. It's thirty minutes, an hour, hour what? and a half, two hours, and I'm like, what the? <sighs> so I call my homeboy Brian Johnson. He was a long jumper at the time. So I call him. He's like, bro, I come get you. He comes gets me. I stay at his house. Dude, what the hell? So the next day we go to practice. Exit in there. I'm like, what is going on? I don't think I want to train here. That boy Exit got into an accident. Left the Range Rover on the side of the road. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, gets in his homeboy's car, goes to the club, goes back, goes back home. The cops come and they were like, "Bro, you left the, the you 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 were in an accident. And you left the the scene of a crime. Like, we got to arrest you. You ain't arresting me." So he's going down there getting all that situation. He doesn't get in trouble, but he does have to go explain. And I don't see him the whole time I'm down there visiting LSU. That's crazy. I'm like crazy. Man. Man. X is X is a legend, boy. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. We all know how life can be. There's a lot of ups and downs. There's going to be a lot of wins, and there's going to be a lot of losses. And it's all going to be overwhelming. I think a great place to start is therapy. You get the opportunity to get a lot of things off your chest and your mind. Therapy has definitely been beneficial for me. I recently lost my father earlier this year, and it's definitely helped me through the grieving process with my anxiety and my depression. Throughout my long career, I've had wins and I've had losses. But one thing stayed consistent, therapy. It gave me balance. So go talk to somebody. A great place to start, BetterHelp. If you're thinking about therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, 
designed to completely fit your schedule and be flexible for you. Just like Rod said, all you got to do is fill out a brief questionnaire. It'll match up with a licensed therapist. And if that therapist doesn't fit you, you can change with no additional charge. Take a moment. Visit BetterHelp.com slash JGAT today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash JGAT. 